Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. And this time we have a UFO crash site. And uh, today we will be sending in our primary team. Volkov uh, still hasn't gotten that last uh, little upgrade there. Uh, but let's go put back in Mike Latt and. Uh, thing is, I might want to trade out. Uh, Chevy for a rookie because the the thing about rookies is I mean potentially get another sniper or you know another heavy or another assault it's good to actually get one of them but let's let's bring let's bring a, uh, along our star team shall we so um, mr. Shiv our support will be bringing along the med kit that we created from last episode our sniper uh, takes along the scope. Now what the scope does is it passively adds 10 to aim. And the way I kind of see that is that 10th shot, they'll hit. Uh, at 1 in 10 shots, basically. And it, it becomes important for the heavy hitters. Um, and that's kind of how I, I really like to to have the aim then land the shots that are really important. Uh, so that's, that's, that's my justification of all this. The assault, I'm not too concerned about. Uh, Salts already have really good aim because they're really up close, so without further ado, let's get on with this. Oh, it's practically in our backyard. Prepare for landing. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. He looks really it tall. looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Well, we're in a giant burning forest. It's a good omen already. And our sniper's not where they want to be. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. So here's what we got. We got the edge of the map right here. Uh, the UFO is probably in this direction here. And uh, there's some... So we want to take the route with cover and here's the problem. There is no cover. So I am probably going to veer up the left side here because that's... We want to get contact probably as soon as possible. So. At least uh, from my perspective, because I think it's I think it's worthwhile to uh, start engaging some of this stuff. And that's like the, as I said, the best cover does look like it's kind of up the left here. So we'll send our assault first, because the assault can also get another move if something goes south. Because of that running gun, you can you still use it after their first move there. So that's how I'm gonna play this. And I'm going to keep my sniper in cover. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, my medic doesn't actually move that far yet. I'm not sure why that is. Pretty sure nobody's gotten an upgrade here. Uh, maybe I should just double check that real quick. You can see kind of their, their ranks on the left there. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's fresh out of the academy. That's no good. Okay, no one still. We'll send our sniper right here. It's really the anticipation is killing me. Uh, all right, let's have a look. This is this side is a lot larger than I thought it'd be. But as I said, since this is the, the corner of the map is here, we're okay. So we don't really have to concern ourselves too much about uh, triggering people on the other side. The, our worry is that we will trigger someone uh, that won't give us really good cover. I don't want to dash. No, thank you. Okay, we'll go over here. It's the the higher higher elevation will also kind of work in our favor. Now we can actually hear where they're coming from. So maybe we should just come straight down the middle. As terrible as an idea as that is. There's some full cover here though, with nobody around to uh, to kill in it. All right, uh, we'll do this. This is getting 
rather intense. Well, because we we're, we simply just do not know where they are. Although they did kind of reveal themselves to us. There they are. Alright. So they've revealed themselves and let's see what our options are. Grenade is not an option this turn. Uh, our chance to hit is kind of low. Our sniper does not have a shot. And our rocket, as much as we wouldn't want to use it, doesn't have an opening either. So we got a couple of problematic... Uh, we have a couple of issues right here. So, here's what I think. To start us off, our sniper will take the high ground because the sniper really needs to get the kill off. Um, 65, well that's not doable. That's, that's, that's 65 without the, the weapon there, but that's not going to happen. Um, I would want to move him back here, but that's a really bad position to be in because of the fact that um, I, I could trigger someone over to the left there, so we won't be doing that. What I will do though is I will have this guy out here and 57% I've made worse uh, calls and we did get the kill there. Okay, so we, that's one down. Um, our support will go over here and stand on overwatch and our assault will move back in and my sniper will hunker down because I do not want anything bad to happen to him. He will not do anything within this turn that's valuable in the slightest, so let him let him have his fun. Now, it unfortunately looks like he is not there anymore. I wonder why that is. Alright. I could move into there, but I could be moving into hidden overwatch. So I'm going to spend a turn on Overwatch and see if he moves out, which is unlikely, at, to be honest, because of the fact I just killed his little buddy there, so he's not going to be too inclined to come after me now. And it looks like he he fucked off, so right on him. So uh, in situations like this, you, there's only one thing you can do, and that's uh, move up really slowly and methodically. I was really hoping Volkov would get at least a shot off, but apparently not. It looks like they're all up there too. And, and unfortunately, the other problem is all we see there is, is now half cover. So, we don't have many options here. So Volkov will not, but definitely not be the person who moves up the, the farthest first. Uh, Volkov will be the guy down here. And so now we're at, our options are kind of being a little limited here. And here we go. Oh, someone got him. I don't know who that was. Well, so we got the one little sucker who was uh, hiding over there. Uh, that's why you overwatch move. And, uh... Or we'll be okay. So I would think that we should resume going up here. It's probably our best bet. And uh, the best option is also to start uh, reloading weapons at this time as well. I'm gonna move this guy into dashing just because it doesn't matter. And they are showing up exactly over there. So that's uh. Not a good sign for me. That's okay. Our heavy will take the charge. That is me, of course. And everyone else will just uh, follow up the rear here. So, trying to be as safe as possible, and we actually triggered them. Oh, uh, no, yep, yeah, we, com we completely and utterly triggered them. Alright. And they fucked off into their own cover. Alright. Um, we have a cover we can use to dash to over here, but I wouldn't get my second turn. But I think regardless, that is where my sniper is going to go. He got sights on one of them. Alright. Uh, let's see. 
I am thinking, though, that my assault here will be my backup plan. Because you always got to have a backup plan. There's nowhere I really want to move this guy with the LMG. So these two will stand in overwatch here while you hunker down. So this little sucker is going to move into a little bit closer to us, but uh, that was his bad because he just got killed by our guys in overwatch. Now here's to hoping that the last one comes out. Uh, and these guys can go and reload. Uh, gotta make sure it's the right key. It, the key changes, it's kind of odd. Nope, looks like we have nothing of the sort, so... Uh, Chevy is going to move down. And trigger... Uh, this guy is hidden in Overwatch, because he was not on my screen here. He did get hit, however, but remember we do have someone with a med pack here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my sniper cannot get his shot off. Uh, boy. Okay. Now, the second thing I can say about this, definitely, is I can't, I can't get a good shot off with my sniper. But if I go here, I probably can get one shot off next turn. Um, and my medic will come in over here. Even though it's half cover, uh, the guy isn't actually that far out, so he will hunker down. He, it's unlikely he will die, but I am leaving a little bit to probability here. And he's just gonna take a pot shot at my sniper. Which apparently was a miss. But took down his nice little cover here. But uh, now I do have a shot off, so let's go try and take it. And the shot works. Hell yeah. And I'm now going to move in my my medic to make everything better. And so my medic can use his uh, med pack in his second turn, so. Hello, heal wound. There we go. And there we go, bring this guy up to full. We only get one use of it. Later we'll get more uses out of it, so you don't have to worry too much. And, uh, oh yeah, where did that UFO come from up here? Well, there's a UFO, so we're probably going to have to do a little, of, uh, little bit of a breach and clear action here. But uh, what we want to do is we want to safely, and hopefully, make it up all the way to the top. Usually there's only about, like, two patrols, especially these early UFO missions, um, so we don't really have to worry. Uh, so I think we pretty much got the, the 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 two patrols that were out here. The only thing that's left now is the people inside of it. So that's why we're kind of approaching from this angle. Is uh, it will reduce the likelihood that we're going to actually like run and like trigger them from outside here because that's a really terrible idea. Oh, what do you hear that? I think they're in the UFO. All right, well. And Mike Lott will lead the charge and come right straight down here. We're just going to make sure all the angles are covered here. And it would appear that they are. So Volkov will dash directly into the cover he will actually be using for the breach. And I will show you what I'm going to do as this round starts. Now, um... The thing you may or may not have stand an impact like that at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Now, uh, the thing you may or may not have learned uh, so far is that um, over I can use Overwatch and it'll trigger on enemy movement, but that only counts for um, it has to be their last move. Or, like, it, it's the only move they can make. So, this guy's gonna overwatch. So, when I open this door, if anyone moves in there, he takes a shot. Our readings can't be right. If they were, 
that's a being of almost pure energy. He's completely out in the open. There's no way he can fuck up. And he fucked up. Great job, Volkov. 10 out of 10. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generated to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. And so he ran all the way to the fucking back. Um, which is a huge problem for me because I can't... There's... I'm gonna dash over here with my shotgunner. Which means he's probably gonna go get shot at if he doesn't move up. Yeah, he's gonna get shot. Oh god. Oh god. That was a really bad idea. Well, there goes Chevy. Uh, fuck this guy. Why did I even bother to go in there? That was a terrible idea, and apparently we're gonna shoot through the wall. And I apparently killed the UFO power source. Great job, me. Chalk uh, up another one. I lost someone unnecessarily. He was behind full cover. I thought it would be safe because he moved all the way back. But sometimes you learn in XCOM the hard way. It felt safe, and it wasn't safe. Well, it looks like we have no choice but to bring in uh, some uh, some rookies. But luckily, uh, Volkov did get promoted, and we get our first abil first uh, ability choice. So. Your first choice is either you can remove the sniper rifle's restriction on firing an overwatch after moving, which means you can move and shoot with a sniper rifle. Uh, which, you know, it sounds great in theory. However, this is put beside the other ability, uh, Squad Sight, which allows firing at any targets within that any anything that my squad can see. So they could be hunkered down for all I care, and this guy can be on the other side of the map. And this guy doesn't actually only get an accuracy penalty whenever he's too close, not when he's too far. So the farther away he is from danger, the better off he is. So fuck that. So uh, we have a squad sight sniper. Uh, we got a unfortunately the, the UFO power source and flight computer. I did damage in my uh, uh, heartless attempt to uh, take down the guy because I, I, I at that moment I decided that wasn't a really good idea. But you know, I have to I have to stop being risky, and I have to be uh, more uh, uh, more better off about all this like stuff. Well, let's see what we can get. We can't get anything worthwhile right now. Um, we can continue excavating though, and I think I'll get a power generator. Uh, actually, I can wait on the power generator. So we don't actually need one right now. So. Uh, we got 17 days till the council report, 11 days for the satellite, and some alien materials coming our way, so... Let's make the world go spinning, but not more than two or so days go by and Commander, we have uh, more abductions. We're several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. It's terrible. Argentina, France, and Australia. All horrible countries. But we are going to leave that for another day, so until then... We will be watching.